hi guys and welcome back to my channel so I just got back from writing a paper and so if I look like this just just understand why um, so anyways today's video is gonna be a Fushini haul and I actually wanted to do a haul but I had a couple of ideas in mind and I didn't know which one to settle on but however i celebrated my birthday uh last week wednesday and i ended up getting a gift from my boyfriend's mom she was so sweet and she actually bought me a whole lot of beauty products from fashini so i thought oh wow okay well i don't have to make a decision on what wall i'm gonna do since there's a whole bunch of fashini products why not just do it so if you want to see what this Fashini haul is all about and what goodies I actually got from Fashini. Keep on watching. Okay, so it came in this bag, this, this pink bag. I know it says Estee Lauder on it. <laughs> so this is the bag. It's such a cute makeup bag, my gosh, guys. Just look at that. It looks so nice see-through I love anything that's see-through because you can see whatever products you have in here and actually my boyfriend was so nice because he got me actually a whole makeup organizer it's like a drawer thing um, if you want to see that and what I have in that drawer then just let me know down in the comments and I'll actually film a video about what I have in that drawer okay so yeah so this is filled with goodies and this is from Fushini um, what I'll do is I'll have all the products linked down in the description however guys I have no idea what what are the prices for all these products because obviously I didn't get them it was a gift to me so I will link the products and I know it's from Fashini because everything has Fashini tags in it so I can give you that much okay so let's get in the first thing that's in here this is cute little bag it's so pretty oh my gosh it's so pretty and it's sparkly oh that opened nice okay, so it's quite big this is lovely for makeup you know just popping in and it looks so sassy with it so we're just gonna get this paper out oh okay who needs that <laughs> Okay, so it's quite big as you can see and like probably a lot of things can fit in here like oh my gosh I think you can put like all your essentials. So it's quite big and it's quite nice and it's all bedazzled -ish in this rose gold color. Absolutely love it. Okay, so there's this brush set. Okay, see that? It's from Lottie London, the best of the brush collection. There's five brushes in here. Um, mm -hmm. So it says um, the go-to brush set for selfie ready beauty. This pack contains the best of the Lottie brushes from an all-round selection of makeup bag essentials from foundation powder to blending eyeshadow and angled. This has it all. Hmm. Right. I'm really excited to know how these brushes feel. I've actually wanted uh, more brushes because the brushes are so... You don't even know what they look like at the moment. So let's just open this. Oh, I tore it over there. Oh, the packaging is quite nice. Really, really nice. It's not just like thrown in there. How oh, lots of things are like opens like that for that protected so well okay oh these are quite sturdy they're not really light and they're not really heavy either it's like a a good oh this soft soft so oh so soft this is a sorry excuse me this is a great powder brush unfortunately there's no name on the brush it just says 
if you can see that it just says Lottie London so there's no name but the, the bristles are so soft my word it's really nice okay so there's this one and there's uh it's almost like a like an eye, uh, eyeliner eyebrow brush yeah and this also doesn't have a name on it all is actually like that they all don't have names on them okay this is another one the colors are very pretty this is quite I don't know if you guys can see that so it is quite flexible I would say this is nice for applying like eyeshadow and things like that or maybe even like tapping your concealer underneath I think it's a bit big for an eyeshadow if you just place it there look at that it's quite big for an eyeshadow I personally feel um, but definitely your concealer great um, okay so this is I'm assuming this should be a blending brush it is it is quite stiffish like it's not like like you know like I can't find the words <laughs> so if I do this it's like I have to really put the pressure to kind of get that motion like downwards if that makes sense but if I just had to just hold it like right at the end to like where you want to actually blend in your eye it if this was my eye and look it kind of it doesn't doesn't have much movement but I think actually to work product in your crease and if you actually do apply a little bit of pressure it does fan out a bit to help you but and also in the in the outer corner just to build on that product in that sharp you know outer be great brush the color again the colors are just so pretty I'm in love this is the last one of the five this is I don't know if this was supposed to be a foundation brush but like, I don't feel comfortable with using so I don't like foundation brushes that are like flat like this I just feel like it like it's more like a pasting kind of thing and I don't feel like foundation should be pasted on your face I feel like it needs to be worked in and blended quite well and you can't really do that that way but um I think contouring I'm not big on a contouring thing I'm not a big person on that I hardly ever contour I don't know why I just feel like I already have sharp facial features so I don't need to contour much um, but maybe this might work good maybe on like a highlight probably or something I'll find use for this brush so if you also want to see what I use these brushes for and what I make use of them for actually to come up with something like that um, let me know and I will make a video let me know down in the comments okay so these are the brushes it's actually really pretty the colors are stunning a girl needs pop of color in her life okay so that's that so brushes oh I got more from Lottie London and these are beauty blenders pinky ones there's two oh mom is so sweet i can't tell you enough how sweet she is and actually to be quite honest with you i my other beauty blender is gone to the dogs so i'm actually happy that i have not only one but like two okay so i don't want to like so it's sealed right so i'll decide like when i actually want to open this but you guys can actually see it's just a, it's a beauty blender pink beauty blender from Lottie London and so far all these products are from Foshini as I did say okay eh, ah there's another one okay so there's more beauty blenders guys so this is quite nice because it comes like in a nice set there's quite a few here so this says four piece beauty blender set um 
latex free sponges that are great for applying liquid foundation giving you a fantastic airbrush look and then they've got instructions on how to clean um, with the blender with lukewarm water clean using a bar of mild soap rinse thoroughly with lukewarm water and pat dry with a towel leave it to dry properly before using it again wash at least twice a week if daily if used daily aha so yes see you can see that this is from Fushini as well I think it's so sweet and I love this one the most because it, it will, you can use it for under eye that's so nice okay this one I can probably open because I can put it back if I'm not ready to use it so I did say I will leave these products all of them I'll write it nicely for you guys in the description so even if you do go to Fushini and you're like oh my god oops and you're like hey I want to get this you'll know what the product is I'm just so sorry, I don't know the prices. Oh, they're nice and soft, guys. They are so nice and soft. Look at it. Without even adding setting spray, fixing spray, uh, micellar water, or even water itself. It's just so soft. Just like that. Wow. Okay, my small one just got in here. There we go. It's so nice. It's like, look at that. It's so soft and so nice. So good. Oh, and it feels so nice on the skin. Guys, th these beauty blenders are really nice. I'm not even going to lie to you. Um, I don't know if you guys have been to like the scheme or whatever, like or clicks or something. And then not all the beauty blenders are soft and nice. You'd be lucky to pick up like the cheaper ones and, and expect them to have good quality, but Sometimes you just have to fork out the money just to get that quality, but these are really good. Hopefully they're not expensive, guys, but this, hopefully they're not. Um, just for your, your guys' sake. Um, but yeah, this has got, I don't know if you guys can see this, but it has like a tapered flat part here. Flat here, and then the rest of it is like round. So yeah, it's quite nice, and this is like a nice marvel kind of textured kind of color. It's cute love it absolutely adore it yeah I and mean, then they have those two big ones and then this was the other big one for that so it's like these two are small which is so cute oops i'm dropping things here that is not good okay i just dropped that one it's just running away from me so these two are like almost like a set which is quite cute if you like this kind of shape more than this the original beauty blender kind of shape that's like egged and then this one so that's cute that come in a pair and then the other one ran away from me because it fell but yeah and then this one is there as i said the egg shape and then you've got that other small one which just ran away somewhere from me okay I'll find it just now <laughs> okay so that's cute absolutely cute aha uh -huh, this is another one this is actually from Lottie London too, and it is a mascara. I'm just trying to see what they say about it. Okay, so it's called Curl Boss. Hashtag Curl Boss. Okay. Yep, and it is also from Lottie London. Okay, um, I'm assuming this. Oh yeah, it's in black. In black. Yeah, so I'm not going to crack the seal on this, even though I'm so tempted to know exactly what the wand looks like, you know, the, the mascara wand. I hate thick mascara ones because I feel like, oh my gosh, it just doesn't do justice to your eye. I like the thin ones where you can actually go right to the um, base of your eyelash and, you know, just get it in. So I'm really tempted, but I don't want to waste it. And I know that this can come in handy once my other one is done. So I just resist. Okay. Um, aha! This is an eyeliner. Ooh, sorry, I was about to drop that. It, this is from Rimmel London. Exaggerated eyeliner in the shade black. Ooh, I can see that. 
Can you guys see that? Okay, hopefully you guys get. Okay, yeah, this is just an eyeliner. Ah. Oh, there's some cutics here. Some nail polish. This is from Rimmel London. These are pretty shades. Okay, this is a pretty shade. This is a base coat. <laughs> um, this shade is 500 Caramel Cupcake. Mm -hmm. So, that's actually cute. Can't wait to try it out, this color. So at the moment, you guys can see, I have this kind of purpley kind of color on my hand, but it's kind of, might be pretty good. And then they say here, it dries like super quick. It says 60 seconds super shine. So yeah, we'll test that out. And I'll let you know. Uh -huh. Next is uh, also another product from Rimmel London. And this is a lip gloss. It's the Oh My Gosh one. Up to six hours. And they have argan oil in it. I've never tried something with a lip gloss with argan oil in it, so I'm really fascinated to try that out. This is also from Rimmel London. I hope you guys can see that. It's got a nice, actually, kind of curve. Look at that. The curve to this bottle is kind of, it's so sexy and sleek. Ooh. This is actually gonna help you from rolling. Yeah, guys, it doesn't roll. Look at that. It doesn't roll. That's nice. Um, oh, the shade for this is 520 Rebel Red. Okay, let's swatch this actually. Ooh, this applicator is nice. So, this is how the applicator looks. It's literally like that. So, it's flat on either side. Good applicator. Okay, so I'm gonna swatch this. Can you see that? Ooh! Guys, that red is pretty intense, hey? It's pretty intense. I'm actually impressed that it's that intense for the fact that I literally just did one. I didn't even go back in and it's that red. Wow. Okay. Impressive. It smells actually quite nice too. It actually smells like... This is gonna sound weird, but it actually smells like you know that fresh baby wipes that you get? But yeah, it smells like baby wipes almost. It smells really nice. Wow. It's like clear kind of aroma, like a, like you've just had a shower and you've refreshed yourself with your lotions. And it's like a, that kind of smell to it. Love it. Love the shade. She definitely knows me well. <laughs> Oh, I can't wait to just tell her thank you, give her such a big hug. Thank you so much. Okay, oh, there's a nice bracelet in here. Love the colors. I actually have a dress. I can go with this. Just thinking about now. Aha. Uh Gosh. -huh. that, how nice. Love bangles. I actually really love bangles. I'm so surprised she knows me this well. Like, I don't hate anything that's in here. I love it all. And I'm not just saying that, and I'm not being biased in the sense because she is my boyfriend's mom. But my word, like, I'm not even lying to you. She, she knows, like, and some of this stuff I've actually ran out of. Like, I told you, like, these I ran out of, and I'm so happy I got them. And the other day, I was actually in legit in the mall, and I wanted. A brush set and it came in this kind of color in that marble color um, just like this the the bottle it's um it's like a bag that looks like in a bottle kind of shape uh, almost and it was in a marble white the whole thing like a leather look of marble white that was the container for the brushes and it had a couple of brushes in there and I loved it and I wanted to take it but the line was just so long and legit this over, over this weekend I'm just like you know what okay and oh well I just went this on Sunday to her because she had a nice lunch for me and she, I just got blessed with her brushes and actually I'm quite happy with the brushes 
can't wait to try them out okay so there's a nice pair of earrings in here just a general pair of earrings guys round loop earrings okay i have quite a few of these though um okay so there's a palette in here but this is from mini good mini good this is not from Fashini. this is actually from mini good okay so the brand is called ashes first can you see it ashes and it is their professional eyeshadow palette mm -hmm. let's swatch some if I can get it open. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, this is really pigmented, guys. Oh, look at that. Wow. That's just one of the, the glitters that's in here, this one. It's really pigmented. Look at that. Especially for somebody like me, I'm not a fair person. Um, you know, very brown, very tanned, tanned, extra tanned person. Yeah, but that's that's good. Um, I like things that are pigmented because I want them to show up on my skin. Uh, let's try. Uh, ooh, I'm actually impressed with that because. I don't know if you guys can see. That's what I said, and I'm tasting it on this side of my skin, not on this side, because this side I know I'm lighter. And I, to taste like pigments, I really want to do it on the side that I'm actually more darker. That's when I know pigment is good. If it can show up on the darker side of my hand, which is always exposed to sun, then that is good. So far, I'm impressed. I'm really impressed with this palette. Wow. And actually, I've been after a good. Okay, this one is, a, you can still see it. I don't know if you guys can see it, but like in reality, I can literally see that. But I can see here on camera, it kind of probably is going to look a bit washed out. Okay, but this is like a really, really dark brown now. Okay. So, in this palette, let me see what they actually say. So they don't tell you anything like about the palette if it has names or whatever or how many shades uh, of how many shades of different things they have in here so from what i can see in this palette there is um four five six there is six matte shades matte and they are pretty matte yeah matte shades in here and there is um, a further six shimmery kind of shades in here. Okay. okay I won't lie, this palette is quite challenging to open though. There we go. Yeah, so basically, there we go. Your mats are at the top like that. Those are all the mats in there. And then these are all your shimmery colors. Okay, so you have a good fair amount here and I like the, these colors are very warm, neutral kind of color so you can literally use this every day. I will test this out. So if you actually, you know what, let's pair this together. You guys are going to let me know. I'm going to test these brushes. These ones, only these ones, these five. Okay, maybe I'm actually tempted because I know I won't stick to five, just these five. I have other brushes that I know will enhance this my looks all the time but i will use all of these as much as possible so if you want to see the this brushes combined with this palette together use me using them let me know down in the comments and i will do that all right and then this is an eyebrow gel and an eyeliner gel it's two in one and this is also from mini good is a long lasting and waterproof also, it's waterproof as well, and then it's quite nice. It comes with this little brush in here. Can you see that? And then it's got this gel, and there's this brush. Okay. I'm actually curious. I'm sorry, I can't resist. I have 
an eyeliner and I thought I could use this one rather. Um, I have a pencil one but my actually my my liquid one is drying out a bit so I thought I would just jump to this one very quickly but I don't think it's gonna harm me if I open this one because it has a lid right so but I'm just I'm just gonna open it guys I like to preserve my products like if if I'm I don't need it right now I'll wait till that time where I need it then only open but sometimes I just I just come to this oh this is also from Ashes Ashes as well this brand is called Ashes and as I said this one is not from Foshini it's from Mini Good okay it also says it was it's a quick before I tear this completely and I can't see anything that could give you further information um, it says here this is a two-in-one and it's a quick dry formula sets quickly and is okay I looked at the page for me and is let me see if I can see that. Oh yeah, and is suitable for an all-day wear. Okay, and it's waterproof. I did say that, guys. It's literally waterproof. Look at that. It's waterproof. That's what it says on the packaging. Okay, now can you open? It literally doesn't want to open. Look, it's tear everything else off. It doesn't want to open. Yay, we're through. We're through. We're through. <laughs> I get so excited to open things. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have that guilty pleasure of opening things. It's like, it's like such a thing. It's like an excitement to, to just open something that's like new. Okay, I won't lie, guys. Get a scissors and just stab the thing in the corner or something and rip it out because you're gonna pay the price like me here, tearing piece by piece. Look at this. Just look at this. Look at this. Yeah. So get a scissors and stab the thing open. <laughs> gently, gently, I encourage gently, please, gently. Y'all did not see that. So, uh, okay, got that out. Boy didn't want to run away from me. How could you? Ah, it's quite cute. Oh, this is a glass bottle, guys. Love. I prefer things in glass. I just have this thing where it's healthier. Just for some odd reason, I prefer things that are in glass and also plastic. Let's do away with plastic, guys. Plastic is so bad. This is glass. This is glass. I, I need something to tap it on to prove to you guys. It is glass. Aha, uh -huh. Cutex bottle. So this Cutex bottle, everybody knows it's glass. It's not plastic, I promise. It's glass, see? If it was plastic, it wouldn't make that sound at all because it would make the sound. This is plastic. Oh, I'm. Ugh. Cutex. See? So it's glass. It's a good thing. Quite heavy. There's a lot of product in here, no lie. And this is the brush. Okay, let's. This, this is the brush. It's quite stiff, it's not very soft. But I feel like it's gonna give you that defining line. That really defined line. This brush is pokey when you push it down, but when you sweep it in a sweep motion, it's not. But I really feel that this is gonna give you a defined line in the corners. Probably might help you with the brows, but I wouldn't use a black. This is oh, this is black. Like literally black. It's not brown or anything, it is black. Well, that's how it opens, guys. Let me just show you. <laughs> so this was this was closed and then so it opens quite well and then there's like a paddy thing over there protecting it that is so nice that is so so nice extra care guys the way it's so extra care is this thing was like there oh actually to be honest with you i don't know if this got stuck there because now i'm thinking about this that thing was supposed to be there because now look at that there's like another silver paper there but if both are like that, I'll say this is extra care. But anyways, extra care. But I actually do think it goes in here. And I just got stuck by it by mistake. So, like that. Like I've seen some expensive brands who have this and they don't even take that extra care. To put, like you open it and you're just ready to go. 
So now I'm regretting. You should die. You should die. <laughs> okay, let's just do it, guys. I can close it, right? I can close it. No. It's like, don't open me. Oh. <gasps> I had to do it guys i'm so sorry but like i had had no choice but to do it so i poked my finger into it <laughs> and the product is literally right to the top so guess what my finger got doused in that too quite badly just get a like create you can actually poke it but like poke it very gently and then lift this away so it has its pros and i guess it has its cons about putting a sealant a protective sealant on the top of this because my fingers are all black now <laughs> that blue that sealant that was on it like that silver thing was stuck pretty well to protect this product not gonna lie but this is how it looks I mean, you can see over there i wasted like they poked it over there right there yeah but okay other than that the product is safe Okay, so I'm gonna swatch this. I'm gonna go in right at that corner where I poked it already. Because I don't wanna ruin the center. Okay, uh, to be quite honest with you, all I did was dab. All I'm doing is literally dabbing it in. Like that. Just dabbing it. I'm not. And the product appears. Guys, it appears. It shows up. It literally shows up. Look at that. Okay, so I'm gonna swatch it go this way oh that is black that is black let me tell you something that is really black okay so i feel like if you do want to really get into it and do this nicely the way you literally when you swipe like that you're gonna get that perfectness but then again you don't have to use this brush i mean hey if you have the brushes to use this because i mean i would be tempted to use my lottie brush which is much softer to the skin here and playful and it glides a bit better than this this brush here but i wouldn't say it's bad like if you only have this brush because you bought this and you thought oh, hey it even comes with a brush this brush is not bad it's you just got to be a little slower with it because I don't know if you guys can see but that can you see it's a bit thicker than than normal in the center so you can see there's a bit of thickness compared to oh I don't want to waste my brush now okay, that's especially the handles when I did I just have to wipe them down but can you see in this brush it's like thinner-ish than this one's front I don't know how well you guys can see that on camera but this is like thinner much thinner thinner over there that what i mean thinner compared to this one which is a bit thicker right as a brush in that slanted motion so it gives you a much thicker kind of line but i feel like if you go in with a brush that's thinner you're gonna get a really thin line but if you bend this brush like slightly angle it in that direction like maybe about you know 20 degree angle like almost like that and if you see, that's still a bit too much of pressure i think it also depends on the pressure I mean, okay our product is like gone now but yeah if you just do that it'll give you a thinner line and you just gotta play around with it i don't know if i'm explaining this correctly but yeah all right so I'm pretty happy with that. Like I'm so impressed about how black it is. And this this gel is amazing. If you like black, really, really black, black eyebrows to use that as a gel for your eyebrows, hey, by all means. Maybe then that for this brush is gonna really work it in because it's gonna give you that nice buffy kind of texture because it has got that thickness to it. Yeah, but as a ooh, sorry, as an eyeliner. It's just do something a bit thinner that's gonna get you the result you actually really desire okay so i am so happy with that i loved the ceiling but at the same time i hated it so there's a love-hate relationship about the ceiling but i love the way they protected it but it just caused me to uh, lose a product there but i'll forgive them because i love the thing 
and it's gloss and I'll forget them because they put it in gloss okay and that's how it looks ashes eye gel eyebrow gel okay so that was good okay guys so the reason why I left a little bit of this on my hand I just want to show you right off the bat that they mean waterproof okay like literally got stuck on my fingers here and there and stuff you need a good makeup remover to remove this they literally mean waterproof okay like I even put soap on this and it was still so look at this they really mean waterproof right okay so it like really sticks on the air. Okay, so just bear that in mind if you're getting this product. A good makeup remover is essential. Yeah, guys, and then this is the bag inside. I just thought I'd show you inside quickly. Okay, and it does say, again, from Foschini. And this is the all-woman brand. It's not Lottie. It's just Foschini's all-woman brand. So this is all-woman and also the beauty blenders, these ones. These ones right here were from Old Woman. The palette and the gel were from Ashes. And the rest were from Lottie. Besides this. Because this is from Rimmel. Oh, and the eyeliner, this eyeliner. This one. Alright. Okay. Um... You know what, let me open, it, open this one and just show you it because I'll close it again. Okay, so this is the tip for that product. It's very, very sharp pressed. Really impressed. Okay. So yeah, these two are from Rimmel. And uh, the bangle was just from Foschini itself. I don't think there's a specific brand to this. And then the oh, and the nail polish or Cutex, whichever one you want to call it, is also from Rimmel. Those four things, these four, again, four are from Rimmel. And then the rest is from Lottie, London. Okay guys, so I hope you enjoyed that video through my review and through whatever was going on with me through this process in opening stuff and bearing with me. Thank you guys so much and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Please like and subscribe, follow me on social media and support my channel. Thanks guys, bye!